What's up guys, In the Void here with more Spacecom for you, just going through the tutorial missions again here, episode 6. Again, if you like, if you want a key to this game, or you want me to raffle keys off, or whatever I'm doing for contest, make sure you like, favorite, and share this video. The more shares and all that stuff it gets, the more I'll know you guys want to do that. So again, we'll be starting that one when, once I finish all the missions. So let's get into Battle for S Samoa. Now I started this... And I had to get going, actually. I had to cut the video, so I just figured I'd start it all the way over. But it's really tricky, actually. Um, you have to make sure you look at all the places you start with, because I did not know that this was a build uh, a shipyard. And so I went after this one, and it was a big mess, and so I'll have to remember that. So, Commander, uh, newest defector. Okay, there's a new defector. Tarkov had been decided to stand ground in Samoa Sector. Okay, so Tarkov's treachery cannot go unpunished. The Hegemon demands you take direct control of the Samoa Battle Group. Destroy or capture enemy headquarters in the area. When they say that, usually destroying is the easiest way, because capturing, I don't know, it seems like it takes longer. Eliminate all opposition. Hegemon will not accept half measures here. Do not fail him. So Hegemon's a single person. I did not know that. Okay, so what we're going to do immediately is we're going to start building a ship. Let's start building some battle fleets. And then I'm going to go right for this guy and capture this dude. And I'm also going to capture this guy. Oops, I keep forgetting. Every other game, left click moves the map, not the right click. So this fleet is... Okay, they can't capture. Okay, let's just start this over. We're going to start over because this, this is that... It's that tight. Uh, let's just do a restart. So I think what I'm going to do... Huh. Okay, well, I guess that's probably right. We'll do that, and then we'll just move up to here. Uh, we can probably move... Well, we want to capture that, too. And this is also a resource base, so we're going to be fighting over these places a lot. So let's uh, let's do... Let's build some more ships. Let's get that ship building going here. But we're going to need this repair spot, too. Probably need resource spots more right now than we need repair spots, but I want to make sure I can keep um, my attrition going, right? Basically, you don't want to lose out on building more ships just because... Or, I mean, having to build more ships just because we lose the ships, you know? So, we're really weak, a really weak starting position here. Just one battle fleet and a siege fleet, which I'm not going to be using right now. Also, I'm going to have to get in a fight with this guy now. It's an independent. So, that sucks. I'm going to invade here. We are going to take some damage, probably. That's an invasion ship? That's kind of weird. So, the enemy... He's got. He's already has this repair, so he's a little bit ahead of us, actually. Um, it looks like the same setup, though, on the other side here, except they start with their repair and you don't. Which kind of sucks, if you think about it. And I'm not going to wait to repair these guys. I'm just going to come up and start taking systems. I'm going to post another dude here. The problem is there's there are actually three lanes to go, to go through on, you know? Really need to get... Because right now they have... Um, and maybe I should have gone for resources first, but we'll see. Okay, so we need to ta take this, because that'll be easier to take. And then we're going to go here, because they're probably going to fly through here, and they're going to try to take these resource um, systems. And in fact, we should probably take the forward resource systems first. So we're going to break... No, we don't want to break off, because this guy's almost dead. In fact, we should probably turn him around, but I'm not going to. We'll just take our chances. So this will hope, help stop. See, they're taking this. Why would they take that? It's weird, but whatever. So how are we doing on this ship here? Let's get one more battle fleet so that we make sure we don't... We have something queued up here. Enemy task force. Yeah, okay, so they're, they're taking off. I don't know why they captured that. It's not a resource base or anything. So I think we'll go boom, 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 and as soon as we pop a dude out from here, which we're about to do, um, I'll move him up to this forward position here. But we're really going to need two, because one ship's not going to help a lot, um, if they have one ship as well. So there we go, let's move that guy up. We should be, this, this should be, we might be able to even kill this guy before he can even hit us, which will be good. But look, see, they have invaders coming in, and we will probably kill them. But they're very the the, uh, the enemy is very aggressive in this. Uh, we're just gonna keep building battle fleets right now. Very aggressive in this in this mission, so we have to be very careful. 
and they like to play a bunch of games where they're like flying through systems and kind of lead you in a big circle. Let's go here. Again, we didn't lose anybody. This system will be a lot harder, so we're just going to go straight to here. Enemy task force is moving in. So they're going to lose this fight. They might get there before we do. I mean, before the fight's over, which would really suck. Come on, buddy. Let's hit them harder. We need to get rid of these guys before um, that other ship gets there. We're really going to be hurting. So I have done a retreat. I think you saw it in a previous video, um, and that really helped. See, now we got another guy in the fight. I haven't taken any damage yet, though, so that helps a little bit. Let's see if we need to queue up another ship. We probably do. Um, so that guy's dead. They took out my invader. I'm probably going to lose this fight, but now I got three... Um, I got three... No, I got three invaders now joining the fight, actually, so I might actually win this. But uh, they took out my siege guy is what they did. Yeah, th these guys are going to have to go back pretty soon to base. So we have another guy popping out here. We're going to just have him join the fleet up here. Because that crew is really hurting for certain. Hurting for certain. And there we go. Okay, we didn't lose any more ships. I'm going to fly my uh, a couple of my invasion guys back. They are hurt bad. These two guys cannot take any more punishment. They need to repair. So we're doing okay, we're not doing that great, but we definitely need more battle fleets. Those are the guys you need to control the skies. And I can't invade here now, but that's okay. I just want to keep them from invading. It's it's a partially a matter of attrition right now, right? So once those guys are repaired, I will bring them back and we will take over. Actually, I probably could have taken that. I probably should have. Because three against one, I would have killed him before he even had a chance. I might as well wait till they're repaired now. So now I've got two battle fleets up here. I should be fine on this side of the map. But once I get this third guy out, I'm going to send him up here. And then we will be good to go if we can get two battle fleets apiece up there. I'm going to start working on uh, shields up here as well, just like I was doing in other uh, episodes. But I really need to, to get those resources in. So let's see if once these guys are healing up here, they're very va badly damaged. Once this, right when he's fixed, I'm going to fly him back up there and start attacking. Or start taking over that system. I mean that, oh, okay. Hit it. That's going to help a lot. Man, we just need battle fleets right now, bad. That's what we want. We can survive with just these guys right here. As long as we don't lose them, we can survive. And the, and the uh, siege guy, hmm, not too concerned with him. I might blow this up. But again, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, and you also need to place a dude here because I need to move those fleets. It'll be instant grab for them. Okay, this is working out. We're going to be good to go. Because this guy's pretty hurt, so he'll, he'll this reinforcement's really going to help a lot. I have a feeling this is going to go more than one episode. But this is what you can expect from this game, basically, where you start kind of on either side like that with some independence in the middle. Right when these two get in here, I'm going to start my invasion. Yeah, this should be a no-brainer, really, for invasion. And then I'll have a, a third more resources coming in. This is what I didn't do last time. I, I wasted a lot of my invasion guys taking this because I didn't think I had a, a shipyard. So let's invade. And now we have two battle fleets in each one. Um, really want to get one more, then I'll move this guy out to repair. But this should be kind of a no-brainer. These guys might get hurt a little bit, but I think they're going to take him out before he even gets a chance to fire. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, good. So I'm going to send them here, take these guys out, then I'll go back for repairs. Okay, is it mine? Okay, there we go. So let's get these two, these guys, let's come back here. There, let's move this guy up to here. There we go. So we're starting to get up to our, our cap here, but we're taking more places. This will give us, I think, two more. But we really need to start plopping down uh, troops here as well. Because they're going to start invading. They're just, they're biding their time. They have one... Wow, that's it? Only one resource place? That's why they're not attacking so hard. I thought they had two. They don't even have that system yet. Okay, invade. So... Once we get this, we'll really be pouring it on, and I'll probably try to grab that, because that'll really help. 
Okay, so we've got people coming in now. It's one invasion ship. Should be no problem for me to take care of that guy. How are we doing here? We did get hurt. Okay, we're getting hurt a little bit. I kind of figured we would, but hopefully we will not lose anyone. If as long as he doesn't hit that one guy, then we're good. And he's dead. Good. We do need to send these guys back for repair. I'm going to start taking these smaller systems to get our fleet size up here. Alright, so let's send all these guys back for repairs. Yeah, we're... This is going to be a no-brainer, and I'm going to probably fly this dude back once uh, this battle's over. My uh, main dude here. My guy with uh, my rank 1 or 2 or whatever he is. Alright, let's send this guy back for repairs. Again, you don't want to lose those ships. I mean, all you, you have to build more, right? So that sucks. I think we should go here. See, we've got actually four places to defend. See, there they go. That's okay. They're going to bomb that. But that's okay. We're going to send these ships in. We should destroy that, too. We should probably make some of those ships and destroy that. Probably need to build some shields up here, too. So these guys are repairing now. We'll take in, we're will take. we gonna take over all these inside planets here and probably then this planet so we can have more production coming in. But right now our problem isn't we have too much production, right? Well, actually it kind of is because we are having actually more resources than we can manage. So we're gonna take over this spot real soon, but not yet. Ah, invasion, see? Invasion ships. Yep, they're going to take it immediately. There's no battle now. So that's the problem there, right? They took it. They just took it. So we're going to go back up and invade. There's no way they're going to bomb it now. But then they're going to fly right through. That's the problem. You can't catch them when they're on the move. And they're going to move now. Ah, they went back. Okay. Okay. Let's go back because they're gonna they're gonna capture that one too. So I think what we need to do so we got another we got another ship. Let's move them up to here. We got so these guys are getting hurt now. But so let's I gotta hate that. Let's move these guys out. See they're getting a lot more resources now too. We need some more invasion ships I think. See now here they come. Let's move this guy in. Alright, invade. This should be a no-brainer because we have three guys coming in. So I think what we should also do, let's build a dude here so it's not in insta-invade. Because they dropped a dude too, see? That's why it's not insta-invade here. And now they're going to stop my invasion. So we need a couple more ships and then we're going to start building um, we're going to start building a shield here. Now we should be able to take these guys out pretty quick, although we're still taking damage because we're in their space. And that I don't like at all. Alright. Yeah, now this should be a no-brainer. Okay, so let's invade quickly. And let's get... These guys are getting hurt, but that's fine. We're gonna send... We'll send... I don't know, we'll wait and see. Winning slightly. We're going to jack these dudes. What are you talking about? Um, but now we've got enough ships that they can't just waltz in and grab something. So that's kind of a big deal. So now, see, we're just waiting to build. They, they can't even take any more resources here. Well, let's start building a shield here. So I'm going to just blockade my area, and then I'm gonna, I'll worry about their area later. If I can keep these two forward ones, I will keep them on the, on their heels. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys down here and... Oh, no, let's just wait. What do they got in here? One invasion ship? Yeah, we're not we're not worried about that. Got another ship. Let's send them to here. And then after that, we're going to build two more invasion ships. So we're just going to wait. This guy's going to fall right into our little death trap here. We're not stupid. This guy should be building a shield now. That's good. 
This guy is building... Okay, one more battle fleet. Eventually, two battle fleets at each place will not be enough. But I think we can do one battle fleet and a shield will probably be okay. But we definitely need to take these smaller back systems here. So let's do that real quick. Let's send all our invasion guys to get these back systems. First, we'll send them here. Did these guys get hurt? Nope. Nobody even got hurt. What about these guys? Nope. Once they have that, once I have a shield, these guys are hurting, man. They're they're gonna they're gonna have a hard time. Once I get a shield up too, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a dude here. But not now. It's too early. Because remember, it's all about managing your resources, right? But I think we're doing good so far. We could probably move one of these guys down here, but we'll see him come in. Let's move one guy up this direction. Again, that's a really long distance, so we can move guys away. It's fine. I'm not concerned. Let's invade. Take these back systems over. But we're really hurting him on attrition. He doesn't even have the center one yet. I really don't know why, but whatever. How are we doing down here? Yeah, we pretty much can't take... We have too many resources and not enough projects. So it looks like that's it. So which means we're building a dude here. Right? This guy's full up on... on uh, and then we'll build a dude here. And we're going to invade here. Remember, once those resource ships stop moving, you know that... So we can do this now. We, we don't need this many guys. He's going to die quick. Um, once those resource ships stop, stop moving, it means you need to build more stuff. So we're, we're looking pretty right now, I think. We're looking really good, actually. What am I building here? Oh, okay, a couple more invasion fleets. We're going to take this uh, extra ship production area. But now that we have a shield, we're... Pff, no problems. I'm actually going to take that pretty soon, I think. In fact, if I swing this way, I can take out their production. I think I got this. It's a matter of attrition now. This is, like, not a big deal. All right, invade. Let's see how hurt they are. They are not hurt at all. Three on one, when you have leveled up invaders, usually aren't even going to take damage. So what do we got here? So that guy's already being built. We got a ship coming out down here. And then we're going to build a shield there. Um, we are pretty much full up on fleet. We're going to take that and we'll get a couple more guys. We are building two more invaders, huh? We should be good then. Okay. Good. We got a guy here now. Let's go to here. This should really help a lot. Yeah, this we're looking really good now. I remember the first <laughs> the first time I tried this, I it, they just they killed me almost immediately. So the first part of the game is super, super important. So don't start. I mean, I wish you could pause, actually. They need a pause button here. So you can kind of look at what systems you have and stuff. Because that's very important. I mean, the computer knows right away. So it's like, why don't I know right away? That'd be nice, you know? So, okay, we're good. Now we're going to take this system. We have one extra. We'll probably wait till we have five. We're going to wait. And we're not drawing any resources down here, huh? There we go. We're going to wait till we have five invaders. So five against three. You hopefully won't lose anybody. But that's going to be a big what if, you know? After this one, we'll build a shield here, we'll build a shield here, we'll be impenetrable. After that, I'm just going to build up a massive fleet and probably just fly in and just take them out. Probably a bunch of uh, siege units. So let's invade. We will have all the back systems. Once we get this, we can start pumping out ships. And then I'll probably just go after the forward systems here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably do the forward system, the repair system, and I'll do I'll do like that, and then we'll just hit the main base. I mean, we could fly all the way through and just kill the main base with one huge fleet. That might even be a better idea. All right. As soon as this guy's done, we'll be good. This guy should just about be done. We're going to start a shield here. There we go. Let's start a shield here now. Because this guy's going to fill up pretty quick.
See, this is the advantage I have right now. There's no way he's going to be able to... Whoa, do they have that? No. Where's that going? Oh, they're building a shield or something. I forget they can have shields too. So this... We don't need this extra dude here now. Let's put him down here. So, how many invaders we got? We got four. We're going to wait for one more. Okay, we got our last invader. Once we get this guy, we're going to take this over. Shield going up. That's awesome. And then we might want to put some planetary defenses here just because when we move all our ships... Well, we'll just leave our ships there. Although we're going to be ship capped. We'll probably build planetary defenses so that if they try to take these, they'll just get blown away. Okay. We are doing good. How's this shield coming along? Next, I'll build a planetary defense here. I'll probably just make an end around. I'll probably just hit this, then I'll hit, I'll hit his resources here, and then I'll hit this, and then I'll just go for the jugular. I should be able to launch from here, actually. Hurry up, bros. Okay, so we're done here. Now we need to build... Let's start building a planetary defense here. Actually, since we're about to take this, we'll just build... Um, We'll probably build a shield here. We don't, we don't really need people as long as there's a shield. So this should be pretty quick. And I wish they'd focus fire. That'd be nice. Okay, so one dude's dead. I did get hurt a little bit, but I think with five on three... We shouldn't lose anybody anyway. A couple people are going to get hurt, but that's fine. We're not ready to invade just yet anyway. And he's going to go down. There we go. As soon as it resolves, I will build shields here. And our we just got room for three more ships. So let's take our wounded down here. And let's move these two ships up to... Let's just move one. Let's get ready to invade. Let's let's take one more of these and one from here. We really don't need two each. Working on shields. Yeah, okay. What's this guy working on? Might as well work on ships. We're going to work on... We got, what, five invaders? Let's work on more invaders. Maybe two more. We should have a fleet of about five battle fleets, I think. We'll do it like that. One invader? Yeah, good luck, buddy. We got, like, hundreds of dudes here now, so good luck. But see, they probably know I don't have any dudes here. Now they're thinking, oh, crap, probably. <laughs> Ooh, uh, yeah, we only have two more space? Is it, like, two more in addition to this? Nope. So, let's go with one. We need more battle fleets. All right, let's speed this up a tiny bit. Because it's really just taking a while, and we're kind of running out of time. I wanted to finish this before the, uh, the episode was over. So there we go, and this one's almost done. We're going to start building a planetary thing here. Let's move our invader fleets up, and, well, we'll probably take our... We'll leave the newbies behind. Yeah, we'll leave these all noobs. So these guys are repaired, right? Yeah. All right. We've got another guy. All right. So we're pretty much ready to finish this thing off. The shield is done. Uh, mm, we still have a lot more to do down there. So let's some do some fast forward action again. Oops. We're really just waiting for this to pop out. We got a shield here now, so we're good. And this is filling up quickly because all of those resources are routing to the same guy, which is fine. And once this fills up, we'll start building a planetary defense right here. Actually, we'll just build them a bolt so that way we don't run out of places to put resources. And so that's going to take a while to build, but at least we can move the resources over. So let's do a planetary defense here and here. Man, crap, we might as well just do one there too, but we'll wait. Alright, so we've got a huge fleet here now 
We're waiting for the one guy to build. Kind of don't even need him to build. We're going to leave one newbie behind in this system, and we're just going to go in five battle fleets and... Wait, is this a battle fleet? Yeah, okay, six and six. Six and six should be able to take care of anything we come up against. So he's just about done. Come on. Let's see how we're doing with resources here. Okay, we got we got plenty of space. This guy's done. Let's get him moving. That's the one thing, though, too. When you're on a little bit faster speed, you miss out on the a little bit amount of seconds where you click the guy and click where he's, his destination is. You do miss out a little bit on that. So it's a little less inefficient. But it's fine. It's not a huge deal. So once we start the invasion, I'm going to slow this thing down once he gets there. And he's there, pretty much. Let's select the whole thing here. And we'll just start going for this. So we'll leave a newbie here. We're taking everybody else with us. And we're just going to start taking over systems. Because we don't want to get attrition on the way through. How are we doing on... Yeah, we've got plenty of space here. Okay, so we should be able to bomb these things fast enough to not take any damage. We will take a slight amount of damage because uh, we're in enemy territory. But it won't be real bad. Ooh, planetary defense? Okay, well, I don't care about that. I could take that thing out pretty fast anyway. Shields is what I really worry about. I don't want to have anybody's shield screwing with me. So we took that over. I'm not going to worry about defending it. I don't care if they retake it. That's fine with me. I'm just going to move straight into their uh, shipyards. I don't know why they don't have this one. And they never even grabbed this. So I'm not really sure what they're doing. All right, let's speed this up a tiny bit because we're just about out of time. And I think we can finish this one if we just hurry up. Invade when we get here. They're, we're invading now, and now they're sending a ship in. And they got a planetary defense and five of these, so this should be a no-brainer. This is going to be fast. And we're going to have to invade again. And again, we're taking attrition damage this whole time. I'm just going to fly right in there and just jack these dudes up. Shouldn't have a big... Shouldn't have much of a problem with that. Also, um... What's cool is now they can't build more ships, <laughs> so they're screwed. I don't care if they kill that. That's fine. I'm going to take, take their main base anyway. Capture or destroy. We're going to get in here and we're going to invade. I'm glad they didn't build a shield. That would really suck. So this is going to be a cool battle to watch. And we should be able to jack them up really easily. But that planetary defense hits like a truck, so yeah, they're going down quick. See it, see it hitting, it's getting, getting hit pretty hard there. Resolving, invading, and we pretty much have this now. I'm glad I brought six because this is a three planet system, so it's a little bit harder to defeat. And there we go. So, perfect timing, the end of this episode pretty much, uh, episode six. Mission 10, uh, that's pretty much how it's done, and really just want to look at your systems before you start the game if you can, to make sure you don't try to, like I took over the, the wrong system at the wrong time and things like that, and it really cost me the game last time. So anyway, again, let me know what you think, like and favorite, and comment, and share if you want me to give away those keys when I do finish these tutorials, which should be pretty soon, we only have three left, I think, uh, and as always, stay frosty, guys.